Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 Minute Gamer, and we are back in my garage, as the Americans would say, or my garage, as we would say. Uh, this is episode two. I thought I would have a look in here just to see what there is. Um, yeah, so the plan today is wash this car to find out how bad it is, start stripping it, work out how the jack works, and figure out how to get it back in the garage. Plus, it probably needs a battery. If I get a battery on it, the electric handbrake might work. If it is electric, I don't know. But it could be worth testing out. So we might need a battery, which is why I was heading over here. But before we start, though, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Tap that notification bell. Smash the like button all over the place. And comment below if you're like, what the hell are you doing, Tony? That's not how things work. There is a battery there. Um, 69. That's not bad. That's not bad. So we've got... Lots of stuff here. I mean, we've got most of this stuff, but we probably will need more. Yeah, I need to work out how the jack works. So we could do for battery, I think, to try and get this car moved if that's how it works. So how does the battery work? <laughs> how does the battery go in here? I don't know. All right, could you go down there? There we go. There we go. That, did that work? No. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a battery now, though. Where's the ignition? Yeah, that, that's doing nothing. <laughs> that is doing absolutely nothing. That was it. Right, let's get washed and let's see what's, how bad this is. Oh, we've got like a two-tone car. You know, the bodywork's not terrible. I mean, it's a total non-runner. But it could just be empty of fuel, couldn't it? I mean, bodywork-wise, I think we're going to need some parts replaced. Looks like a, like a daffodil. And then across here... I kind of like the colour. I might change it to like a nice red or something. Also, I don't think it's got any glass in there. Right. Sweet. Okay, so... So, 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 this engine's going to need stripped down totally. I just don't think it's even linked. But this fender is, I mean, we don't have any bodywork. It's knackered, to be fair. So is this bumper. So might as well just get them off now while we're here. So if I just grab a, what, what would I need? One of these, I reckon. All right, now I'll remove it. Now I need to figure out how to get this car in. Problem is he can't jump anywhere. Can we take the bonnet off? Just to jump in the car maybe? Yeah. Hey, right, now can we get it? Ugh. <laughs> let me, let me add it. How do I get it? Ah, oh, it's frustrating me now. How, how do I get that last little bit off? I don't know, but we also need the bumper off as well. No. no. Get back here. How do I remove you? It's there. And there. But this doesn't seem to be working anymore. I can't seem to... I can. Just... There we go.
Now, do I unscrew this license plate, do I reckon? Bumper, bumper, bumper. Let's get a screwdriver, just in case. Just in case. Screwdriver, screwdriver, screwdriver. There we go. Is that a screwdriver? Yeah, it is. Just don't know if you need to take the license plate off before we bin it. Yep, there we go. Oh, I got ten dollars for it. Good. Oh, here's our first license plate. Obviously, we're going to keep it. All right. Okay. So, objective one kind of done. Right. Let's go get a job because we need to make some money. Can't work on this car. It's a side project. Can you change my brake discs? They look worn. Well, we do need to work out how to get tires off. So, let's take that job. You. What do we need? Brake discs on you. Here we will sit down. Close the door. Uh, ignition. Okay, that works. Um, should we put on front ways this time? Yeah, we will. Right, okay, so let's... Um, no, we still need a reverse, though. Oh, handbrake off. Right. And then... First gear. Nope, that's messed up. Obviously, we're a little bit too one way. There we go, that looks a bit better. You know what? Uh, ignition off. I'll just push the car. Alright. Um, don't forget to push it with it in neutral still. Can't normally push a car in neutral. Yeah, why wouldn't that go. Over. Maybe these need to be out of the way first. Perfecto. Good. Alright, how do we move? Okay. Two. Three. And four. And so we just need to remove all these wheels, which I guess we need a spanner for. So our spanner is here. Will we need a screwdriver? I don't know. Let's find out. That done. Um, that one looks fine. I don't know what a broken one looks like. I have to replace all four. I'm guessing it's going to be costly. That's all done. There. I hate the way the wheels just fall off. Alright, how am I going to know which one of these need doing? Ah, that one doesn't have a brake disc on. <laughs> well, there's your problem. Neither does that one. Huh. Well, that one does. That one does. That one definitely doesn't. No. Huh. Okay, so what are you? So I need a brake disc for this car. Uh, which is a lad. So when you break this for a lad. Uh, break this front. Oh, 
There we go. So how do we fit this to the car is my question. Oh my god, how do I remove a brake disc? I think I've removed... I've worked it out! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. So have I just removed? Yeah, it's definitely worn then, isn't it? Oh my god, I'm genius. Right. So just to fill you in here while you're watching a bit of random footage because I've actually lost a bit of footage, you have to remove the brake caliper. To do that, there's a line that goes into the brake line. You remove the top end, then you can remove the full caliper, then you can put the brake disc on, and then you can put the caliper back on. If you remove both ends of the caliper brake line thing, it's really difficult to get back on. Um, but I was just kind of messing around and experimenting, but unfortunately I lost the footage. So that's a bit of a shame, but yeah, anyway. Well, that took bloody ages. So yeah, basically the rear disc brakes were broken as well. Um, now if I just compare these side by side, I can't see an issue with them. The new ones looked pretty much similar as well. Like, I couldn't see anything wrong with them. But I tried this about three or four times and it wouldn't work. So finally, I was like, well, let's just try the rears anyway. I also bought a new brake caliper just in case, just to give that a try. But when it was done, I noticed this said overall condition was back to five star. So I don't know if that's a little bit of a hint, maybe at other things, like if you remove one thing. But yeah, I, I don't know the difference. It looks brand new to me. Uh, but yeah, let's complete that job. Loose bolts. No idea where they were, but never mind. Hopefully don't cause too much bother. So yeah, let's move this down. That's a bit of a shame. I just don't understand what was going on there at all. No idea what the welder's doing there. Right, so let's uh, clean up after ourselves. So yeah, neither of them look knackered, but never mind. Right, um, you in there. And we'll get rid of these two as well, because I'm not sure which one is knackered. I guess the one that's... A whole dollar for a break disc, yeah? And this one here. See if this is, if one's worth more money than the other, that might be a tell. No, both worth a dollar. Never mind. We did it. Yay! Alright, let's tidy up this place a little bit. So yeah, that took a while to figure out because there is no hints at all <laughs> of what's going wrong with your car or anything. But we've learned something, and I am happy with that. So yeah, I also learned you can lean, which is what the Q button's for. So we can get this panel off now. Thank goodness. All right, you there. So lean just kind of zooms in uh, by the looks of it. If we zoom, beautiful. Yeah, it should be all the bolts done now. One, two, and three. Shouldn't be any more, I don't think. And how we... What were you? The dipstick needs to go in. Oh my god, I didn't realize that engine was so bad. Half it's missing, no wonder it wouldn't start. So we've got one, two, three. I don't think there's any other there. Let's get our... Spanner out. And they're definitely the three we're concerned about. There might be some under the bodywork that maybe needs doing to get these out. I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. I'll work that one out. Don't you worry. I will work that one out indeed. Alright, let's open the door. Is there anything... Is this door knackered? Uh, 
uh, no, maybe we just need a thing for that. Can you, like... Yeah, maybe that's knackered as well. Anyway, I think that is enough for this episode. So, yeah, we'll just change the brake disc there. And that took bloody ages. <laughs> I'm not doing that. No idea. No idea. Brake lines were kind of just done. Um, yeah, I think that looks like a nice, easy job to start the next episode off with. Oh, it's a nice American car as well. Oh, maybe, maybe we can learn off this car. Yeah, so that's what's knackered. Our handbrake handle's not working. So, uh, we've learned something. Can we get... Uh, it's called a Chad. Uh, brakes. Handbrake. 51. But we don't know if the cables are in. Mm, okay, we worked that out at least. Good. So it could just be... doesn't necessarily mean the handbrake is broken. It could be the cables. But the only way I'm going to find this out is by removing this panel and then getting behind it, I think. So I don't think there's any other way to see in it. We need it on the... Problem is, I need it on the um, thing to get under it. In this, I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Anyway, that's a problem for another day. So I'll catch you on the next video. Goodbye.